Hi, this is Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be answering a question from a reader. He came back and he asked, I recently invested in a pair of Allen Edmonds, and I couldn't be more pleased. To keep them looking fantastic, I'm wondering about shoe care products. Do you recommend any particular brand of conditioner and polish, and perhaps any other kind of tools I'll be needing? I'm fairly sure I want a cream versus a polish wax. I know Allen Edmonds themselves sell these products, but I'm unsure as to where I can get them and how I should be using them. All right. So I'm quickly going to go over a general overview of how to take care of your shoes. I'm not going to be showing you exactly, you know, how to shine them and everything that, that could go on for, uh, you can spend quite a bit of time doing this. Instead, this is a general overview because I find there's a lot of confusion between what is a, you know, why use saddle soap or why use a conditioner or what's in between a polish and a wax. So again, quick overview. Let me go ahead and first thing, we've got a couple tools in the tray. This small brush right here, when you see these, this is used for putting on a polish. And I like to have multiple uh, brushes like this because I find that you know, they, they, it's hard to clean them and it's actually cheaper and I think easier just to have multiple brushes. Uh, what you don't want to do is mix up darker, uh, darker cleaners or darker uh, polishes with lighter polishes. And that's why I like having multiple brushes like this. A brush like this uh, can be used to polish or it can be used to clean. This is made from horse hair and it's a bristle that isn't, uh, isn't going to be really abrasive on a shoe, but it's going to be abrasive enough to remove dirt. Uh, the key is, is you want to have two of these. You want to have one that you use to polish your shine and then one that you use to clean. And the reason that you want, you want the difference, and, and I like actually having them different size. I, I, I mark on them that one's a cleaning brush, one's a polishing brush. The reason being one of them is going to collect dirt. The other one is going to collect polish. And you don't want to mix the two. You don't want to be rubbing small bits of, of sand into your shoe. That's going to actually damage the leather over time and it's not something you want. Another great uh, polishing tool is a uh, polished mitten. Uh, this is specifically made for polishing shoes. I love uh, whenever I travel to hotels, I always get these for free and I pick them up. But if you don't have a mitten, simply an old shirt or something made from cotton, a really a nap cloth is what you want, something that's going to absorb a little bit of polish or moisture and be able to uh, get a really nice soft shine on any of your shoes. Okay, so those are the tools. Now let's get into the polishes or, or, and the cleaners and the conditioners. First cleaner that you'll see out there, or one that you know gets a lot of uh, airplay, is saddle soap. And this is uh, by uh, uh, Phoebings, or I'm <laughs> like butchering that name. I like them. They're made here in Wisconsin, and uh, I'll have a link to them down below. Now, saddle soap, what's its use? Saddle soap is a cleaner. Notice the word soap is in there. So you should be able to use, uh, you know, you can use a mitt like this or just, uh, I, I would use just, you know, a piece of an old rag or a t-shirt and you can actually get a lather and then you're going to use that to clean the shoes. It's not a conditioner. It's not a polish. Saddle soap is soap and it's used on, uh, you know, tougher leathers usually. Um, you'll see, you know, saddle soap used on saddles, used for you know, really cleaning up a lot of dirt and grime. And that's what you want to use saddle soap for. So if you've got a pair of shoes that you haven't cleaned for a long time and they've perhaps got a waxy buildup from multiple layers of polish, that's when you want to use saddle soap. You don't have to use saddle soap every time you clean your shoes. And in fact, just to give you an idea, on a shoe, pair of shoes that I'll wear, let's say 20 to 50 times a year, I will maybe use saddle soap on them one time a year. And I do that whenever I want to go with a deep cleaning. But if you're going to start with anything and you need to do a deep cleaning, saddle soap is the way to go. There's also all-purpose uh, cleaners and conditioners. So this is a combination of a cleaner and a conditioner, just like it says. Uh, the difference between, you know, something like this, actually, I'm going to bring this up. It's made by melatonin. Uh, the difference is the cleaner or conditioner is actually going to be putting a bit of moisture back into the shoe. It's not going to be as good as saddle soap when it comes to cleaning, but it's more, it's gentler. And it's something that I would recommend for more uh, normal use. If you're going to be, you know, this is something that I know you could use it 
pretty much maybe every fourth or fifth time that you're, you're cleaning and polishing your shoes, this would be one of the first things that you apply. It's going to nourish the leather a bit and it's going to go in and uh, moisturize. So leather, it, it's skin and it needs to be moisturized because what happens, it, it's basically a number of these fibers and uh, they're all... Uh, Okay, so you can imagine a, a protein-based fibers that, that go over like this, and that's what makes leather so tough. And these fibers bend, but over time, kind of like your skin, think about putting a, you know, a lotion on your skin. During the winter months, I know my skin gets cracked. That same thing happens to your leather. Whenever the moisture leaves, that's when you can damage and destroy the leather. And that's why conditioners are so important. And in fact, if you use saddle soap, you have to use a conditioner afterwards because that soap is going to draw out a little bit of, it's not as abrasive or hard as detergent or any of these other soaps that we use on our clothing, but saddle soap does pull a little bit of moisture out. And so you want to be using a conditioner. I recommend, I mean, again, this melatonin all-purpose cleaner is something I would recommend probably more than the saddle soap because for most men, you're not clogging through, unless you're wearing, you know, boots that you're going out and going through mud. I mean, you don't have a lot to clean. Now, there are specific conditioners, and this is Leather Honey. This is a, a product that's fairly new, although actually it's been around for 30 years, but I, I've spoken with uh, the, the uh, it's a family-owned business. I really like their product uh, as at the, uh, the viscosity of the liquid. It, it, I mean, it's really thick. It almost looks like, uh, it's clearer, but it, it almost it has viscosity of motor oil. I really like it though, because it goes in and it penetrates. It also waterproofs. It does a great job conditioning. And how I know this, because it slightly does change the color of the leather. This doesn't happen with all conditioners, but I really like how this goes in there and it, you can just see it penetrate. It, it's thicker, it goes on really well. But this is not so much a cleaner as it is a conditioner. Although they, they'll probably say that you can use it as a cleaner as well. I like to think of leather honey more as a conditioner. The difference between melatonin and leather honey I'll talk about later. But uh, let's talk quickly about mink oil. You hear this uh, thrown around. Now mink oil is for, I think, tougher leathers. I don't recommend it for shoes. And the, the reason being is that it, it normally does change or darken a leather. And any of these products I'm talking about, you make sure to test them. It, it, I mean, you need to always test. Don't uh, don't go by what they say. I mean, good luck trying to get, you know, if they end up darkening your shoes and in your mind ruining them, trying to get money back from one of these companies. They've got lawyers which protect them, and they're very clear. Always test a small part of your shoe. So take your shoe, work, you put a little bit on the, uh, the tongue where no one's going to see it, and make sure that it has the effect you expect it to have. So we've cleaned the shoe, we've conditioned the leather. The next part would actually be polishing the shoe. But before we get to polishing, there, there are these things called creams. And this is a Cole uh, Haan shoe cream. I've also got uh, melatonin, makes a great neutral cream, which I love because this neutral cream you can use on a wide variety. You can use it on blacks, you can use it on browns. It doesn't really matter what color your shoes are. Although another reason I love melatonin products is they, they've got a wide variety of colors. So you can actually get a brown cream or a black cream or a walnut cream or all, all these other <laughs> variations of the colors. The difference between creams and cre creams are kind of like a hybrid. They're not a polish but they're also not a conditioner. They're a little bit of both. So you can imagine they're a conditioner that has polish in them. And they do provide some conditioning, but they're like any hybrid, it never, in my opinion, does the best of both. But I like creams because if you're traveling and you only want one thing, you use a cream. This is if you're traveling through an airport, usually this is what the guy there, he's using because he only wants you there for five minutes to do a good, solid cleaning of your shoes in which, you know, you go from cleaning to polish. It's usually going to take you anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. By simply using a cream, you cut that down to a couple minutes. Now, the cream, you're never really going to get as good of a shine as you're never going to condition the leather as well. But if you're going to if you're lazy, if you want one thing that you're going to use on your shoes, I recommend the cream. And that's simply because, you know, it, it does do do both. And for most men, we're not out wearing our shoes in extreme weather. 
and the cream, cream will take care of your shoes for a long time. Although it does not replace a wax. So a shoe polish, shoe polish wax. This is the last thing that uh, you would be putting on a layer. And, and this is not meant to condition. This sits on the outside of the shoe and it forms a waxy layer, which gets you that super shine if that's what you're looking for. Now, I don't recommend this for something like Western boots. And the reason being Western boots, they have leather that's really soft and is meant to fold over uh, in multiple spots. But for most men's dress shoes, like the Allen Edmonds we talked about, if you want to get a really nice shine uh, using something like here, like the mitt, you're going to be putting on layers of wax. And that those layers of wax are going to form a film. And that film is what gives you the really sharp shine. In addition, think about it. You're forming a layer of wax. Wax repels water. So you're, you're getting... You're putting out a layer of protection. The thing is, is once that layer is gone, you need to reapply it. So wax needs to be reapplied pretty much after every time you wear your shoes. And even though wax will they'll probably, be, and that's why you get buildups, uh, because you apply it on so much. But wax is pretty much, it, it, there has to be a seal. There has to be that layer. And anywhere that you don't have that seal, obviously the wax cannot protect. And that's where things like, uh, you know, water and stain protector, you know, they, again, this one's made by melatonin, where these things come in really handy because you can spray them on areas of your shoe, especially if you're going to be in inclement weather. You know, you're in Seattle, let's say, and you know you're going to be walking through puddles. You're not wearing a pair of galoshes. You know, this is where this is going to become really useful because it's going to uh, really beef up that, uh, that layer. Uh, you'll see a few other products out there, and I'll talk briefly. Uh, this one's made by uh, Torrego, and this is a instant shine. Uh, you'll see a lot of, I know a lot of cobblers use this. This comes out of Spain, so hard, harder to find off the rack. I'll try to find a, a link to it. But this is something where you can apply it onto the shoe, and it gives an instant shine. No, no, uh, <laughs> no buffing required. So that, that's a little time saver. You'll see that a lot of guys that are doing shoe polishing for a living or working with shoes, they'll use this. It's a quick shortcut. It's a good product, but it never provides the same level that you get from uh, using all of these products together. Well, that is an overview of shoe products, and I'm going to get into much more detail on each of them because each of them deserve uh, a lot more attention paid to them. And uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope that answers your question, sir. Take care.